Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to talk about first dates. So the first thing is when you actually get the number. Let's try and make it solid, so just 30 seconds on that. When you meet her, you know, have your conversation, get the number, all of that stuff, but try and do some things. Find out her kind of plans for the next week or so, when she's free, and if possible try and nail down the date, the place, the time, the date, everything in that initial meeting so you don't have to send me messages, Richard, you know, what do I text her, she doesn't reply and all that, you know, so that you don't have any flakes so that you're going to get on that first date. When you actually get on the first date you need to do things so that it goes smoothly it's not boring and my advice is different to a lot of guys now if you're a day gamer um, things might be a little bit different because you're doing most of your game where you're not really including a lot of the elements of the pickup if you're a night gamer you probably do a lot of seduction and attraction stuff if you're doing day game you might not be working that in and that can be a problem for a lot of guys where things just stay loud they never have that sexual interest going on and it can be a problem. So we get to the point where it's the first date. Um, you could go for a daytime date. These are harder, they require more in terms of conversation and interest. You don't have the help of alcohol and music and interesting places in terms of you know busy bars and places where there's a lot to see um, in the environment. So it puts more emphasis on the interaction. If you're comfortable talking to girls and you're already all set, then it's no problem going for the daytime dates but I would suggest that if you do it's nice to do things like go for a walk and things where you've got uh, things to talk about where you're not just sat in a boring coffee shop and it's just entirely about the conversation. If you want to prepare, if you need a little bit of help, uh, in my book I give a bunch of interesting questions so you could ask her you know, if she likes travelling and then you could ask her an interesting question like if you could wake up anywhere in the world tomorrow where would it be? Or you could say, uh, talking a little bit about childhood and you could say what did you want to be when you were growing up, you know, when you were a young girl? So you can prepare a few questions so that if you do run out of things to say you've got something to fall back on. When it comes to the actual date it's very important uh, the first few seconds set the tone. So you can meet her and say, oh hey, how are you, let's go over here, like that, and you can be awkward, but it would be really good to actually meet her. You take her hands, you say, oh wow, you, look, you really look great today, nice to see you, like that. And you give her a kiss on the cheek, and then when you take her, you're leading her, you put your arm around her, you go arm in arm, or you take her hand when you cross roads, and things like that. When you open the door, you've got your hand on the small of her back, leading her in, and you're setting the, the frame that it's a date, you know, it's not friends meeting, so really quickly creating that sexual interest. I often see, you know, I'm sitting in a restaurant or a coffee shop and I see people that are obviously on first dates and it's really awkward because they're sitting opposite each other and they're not comfortable, the body language is not comfortable and you see that he runs out of stuff to say and he's got this kind of nervous smile and she's uncomfortable and it's a disaster. So what I try to do pretty much um, every time is to meet a girl in the night time, you want to go, you want to have some cocktails or drinks, find interesting places and stuff going on, um, if she likes live music, if she likes cocktails, if she likes wine, whatever it is, and you choose a place where there's something interesting. Ideally, you go on that night the week before or earlier that evening and you scope it out. You make sure that it's got a free space that's comfortable. You want a uh, kind of couch like this. You don't want to be sitting on uncomfortable chairs. You want a place where the music is not poundingly loud. You want a place where you can find a spot where you don't have to stand at the bar, etc. So do your homework and figure out where the place is. If you're sitting opposite, it's a lot more awkward. If you're side, to si side by side, you can do things where I'm quite lazy, so of course I can keep the conversation going, you know, for an hour with no problem, but I like it when we're sitting side by side and I can just chill out a minute and I can look around the room, drink my drink, look over there. Um, if my phone, you know, I get a message, oh, excuse me a second, I'll just reply to this. And you've got this, this time when 
you're just showing that you're very comfortable and you're relaxed and she gets to just relax in your presence. If you're face to face and you know, you're like, should I look her in the eye and I've run out of stuff to say, it's, it makes you more self-conscious and it's tougher to do that. You can also talk about things in the environment. You're watching people dance or walk around. Um, if you're sitting you know, on, on a place like outside in the street or if you're doing something like maybe you're smoking shisha, again, all of these things are things that kind of take the pressure off. And if you're someone that's not entirely comfortable in the conversation, it will really help. On the first date, you want to include a few elements. So you need to get to know her better. You need to use some connection stuff. Uh, it's great if you can make her laugh a little bit, but really the most important thing for me is that feeling of being relaxed. So there should be times when you're talking and then you just stop and it's cool and no one's uncomfortable, everyone's relaxed and there should be some times where you know the conversation just naturally breaks and you just look around the room and you're basically very quickly creating that kind of situation that you'd have only after many months of knowing a girl where you're just completely relaxed with each other. Of course, at some point in the day, it's time to escalate things and it can start with what we've got now with, you know, just our legs touching. It could progress to me just uh, resting my hand there or having some arm to arm touching. Um, you could do something funny, like you can do that old school thing where you, oh, so tired, you know, like that. But you do it in a funny way, of course. So it works. Um, you can do something where maybe you're talking and if you sense that it's on, you can take her hand and you can put it on, on your leg and then keep your hand there. Um, at some point, you know, you want to always keep things escalating, but the way to escalate is not to think too much about the actual touches and where you're touching her, but it's to think about sexual tension. And the number, way, the number one way to generate that is just from time to time, you have those moments where you just stop and you look at her and you could stroke her on, on her you know, neck as you're doing that. You glance at her lips and then you break it and you carry on and maybe you go to you know saying something funny or whatever and then you go back to doing that and you're sensing how how interested she is in pretty much 100% of cases it's going to be acceptable um, to give her a kiss on the cheek and I've noticed I often do that you know as the first thing before I kiss her properly so I might even just do it without saying anything I just turn on give her a kiss on the cheek and then a little kind of reassuring uh, rub on the back. She's not going to go, ooh, how could you dare touch me? It's something that is socially acceptable because a lot of people just kiss each other on the cheek when they meet. But in the situation of a date, it communicates sexual interest. So you've got the pauses, you kiss her on the cheek, you've got this kind of touch. And again, you just want to feel that the sexual tension's there and then you can act on it when you like. So, you know, when it's time to actually go and kiss her, if she's cool with you touching her here and she's cool with you touching her on the cheek and you're getting closer like that and you're at a point where you're about this close, you're going to be fine uh, from that point going for the kiss. Again, if you want to invite her back to the house on the first date, I've got another video uh, on YouTube about that but you could just say let's go somewhere else and you end up at your house. I've, I've got all the ways to do that in the other video. It's up to you if you want to do it on, on the first date or not, but if you're already in a bar in the night time, it's going to be a much better situation to try that um, than if you're in the daytime in a coffee shop. So there you have it guys, some brief tips on first dates and I hope you find them useful and see you soon.